Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Bramble Fox uh, to share. Um, so I'm using the March Fox box and today I'm focusing on the lockdown version 2.0 and the little um, padlock that says uh, lockdown 2021 um, and also the little charm that says home. Um, so um, I've gone for a lockdown theme obviously because um, of the lockdown um, version 2.0 um, perspective and um, I decided to use a cut file that I had um, ready and waiting to be used uh, by Pear Tree Cut Files um, and it says not again and it has a lock a padlock in the middle um, and I just really loved it I thought it was a great cut file um, and yes that is exactly what I felt uh, when they closed schools for the second time um, so yes very much so oh my goodness not again um, so um, yeah so I thought I'd use that so I've cut it in white and I've cut the letters and the padlock in the middle um, from a pattern paper it's a uh, green or like a turquoise color that matches so well with the lockdown uh, version 2.0 um, color um, and uh, I've uh, it's a floral paper but the background of the floral is this lovely turquoise color so so I've gone for that and I've backed all of my um, letters using that that uh, that paper um, and um, I'm now just um, going to stick it down onto my layout I'm just going to go for it um, now the problem I have with this layout is that the cut file is white and the background is white um, so I always worry that my letters are going to get lost in the background but actually it looks okay um, it probably looks better in real life than it does in the photos um, because you can see it better obviously but raising it on foam pads really helps because what it does is create some shadows uh, behind the cut file which means that you can see it well even though um, it's on uh, white on white effectively um, okay so um, I'm just going to stick that in place and uh, raise it up on foam pads so I'm just getting that in place now and then I'm going to pop it at the top of my layout so my plan was to uh, create um, a layout with um, everything anchored towards the top well it didn't quite work out like that it's kind of cascading down the right hand side but that's fine I'm happy with that sometimes layouts take a different direction to what you expect don't they um, so yeah in the end I had my photo a bit lower down than what I had originally planned but I'm, I'm really happy with how the layout turned out so that's all good um, okay so I have um, the remains of that paper and I was considering uh, whether I should pop it um, under the the cut file and have it as a strip along the top actually in the end I decided that I didn't really like how it looked because you could see the gaps in between the letters you could see some of the pattern in between the letters so I think did think about kind of trimming it around the letters which would be quite cool um, but uh, unfortunately that piece wasn't quite big enough uh, to cover all the bits that I would have needed it to um, so I decided to abandon that idea and uh, do something else instead so um, I'm just at the moment I'm just not quite sure what I'm going to do with my border um, but um, I will come back to that and do something different um, at, towards the end um, so okay so here I am just trying to figure out what I'm going to do um, so I'm just cutting out a rainbow uh, that I thought would look great on this layout but actually I decided I didn't like um, and that's purely because of the colors so I just really loved the colors in the background paper that I've used on the letters which is kind of like a green and purple and pink and a bit of yellow um, it was kind of really fresh colors so I decided to go with that um, and uh, I also wanted to position my lockdown version 2.0 um, over to the right hand side and on a slant so it reminded me of like a big rubber stamp so you know when you're filling a form in or something and it's like you get the big approved stamp um, that was kind of where I was thinking of um, with this not that I think I've ever seen one of those in real life maybe just on the movies um, but uh, that's what I was thinking you've got the big title at the top and then a you know big stamp over on the right um, to say lockdown version 2.0 so that was where I was going with this so I really um, do like how it turned out in the end um, so I'm just trying to get my positioning right at the moment um, so I've got a big journaling card um, it's a very long one it's a three by eight um, which is probably a bit too long for this layout so I've just trimmed it down a bit um, so that I still have room to write underneath but it's not going down and stretching towards right the, at the bottom of the layout um, it's also going to house my photo so that's a good place to put my photo 
My photos of my mum and my daughter, um, because during lockdown uh, version 2.0, whilst the schools were closed, um, my daughter, who's nine, went to stay at my mum's. Um, and she ended up, it just worked, the arrangement just worked really, really well. Um, and uh, she ended up staying there for six weeks. <laughs> I obviously missed her a lot, but she was on the phone every day. Um, so it was quite good, because I got the best of her on the phone. Um, whereas at home, I, I get lots of moodiness. <laughs> So it was quite nice to um, chat to her every day um, and it's really lovely that she has a very close relationship with my mum so that was really really wonderful for us. It helped our family out hugely while the schools were closed um, and uh, yeah it was just an arrangement that worked super duper well so uh, thanks mum for uh, helping out. Um, it made a huge difference to us um, so uh, we have two other children at home as well so that was wonderful. Um, so yeah, so this is a photo of the two of them together um, and uh, I just loved it. It was a little selfie that they took um, and uh, I'm putting that on this layout and journaling about that story um, on this layout. Um, okay, so I've got my lockdown version 2.0 in the right place. I've got my photo positioned. I've got some flowers around my photo that some of them are fussy cut from the same paper that I used for my letters and some are floral ephemera. Um, I've got some other like plant pots and bits and pieces as well um, and then I found this journaling card things are gonna be uh, awesome I think it says no gonna be great things are gonna be great and I thought that would be a really nice sentiment to put on this layout but it was just a little bit too big and just didn't really fit so I've abandoned that and going to use that for something else um, so here I am looking at um, some titles. Obviously I've got two titles on this layout already. I don't really need anything else. But I was just having a look to see if there was anything that would suit. And I came across um, Be Brave, um, which I thought was great because she was brave going to stay away from home for such a long time. Um, and she did brilliantly, really, really well. Um, and uh, she actually had a great time. So. Um, yeah, but she was very sad that schools were closed because she's a very social butterfly, my, my girl. Um, and uh, she was really sad that schools were closed again. She wouldn't be able to see her teacher or her friends. Um, although this time around they've had lots of live lessons, so she has had that contact with them every day. Whereas in the first lockdown we had nothing. It was just the work was uploaded online, um, but there was no live teaching or interaction with uh, students so um, she was really really sad to begin with about that but actually perked up a lot whilst when she found out or once she started having the interaction with the other children and the teacher um, but yeah so be brave went really well here um, I've put the word home in as well of course they're not at home um, well not at my home but uh, it was her home for six weeks so I figured that the home still worked they still weren't going out so uh, it definitely worked um, okay, so I just tied some gold thread through that home charm um, and um, I'm also going to come in now with some gold thread uh, for the padlock um, and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to hang it um, off of the lockdown version 2.0. So I'm going to sew it in place with gold thread, so literally just a few, um, it's just one stitch but I've gone over it a number of times so that it looks, so that it's more secure, sorry. Um, and um, it, you know, I didn't want it dangling around, so I've just stuck it in place with some glossy accents as well. So it's sewn on, but also stuck in place, <laughs> so it doesn't move. Um, okay, so I'm nearly done, really, um, but um, I'm just thinking about what I can do. It's very, very white at the moment, and uh, I just wanted to bring in a bit more of that wonderful pattern. But I chopped it up because I was thinking of um, putting that big strip at the top. Um, so now for I didn't have a 12 by 12 um, border anymore. I got these this big oh and also out of the other border I fussy cut a flower so it was really mutilated. Um, so um, I just thought I would stick a strip of paper behind the white um, and then fold it down a bit. Um, so here's that second piece of paper that's a bit mutilated you can see that I've cut lots out of it um, and I don't have a full strip that's 12 inches so I have this big gap in the middle that you can see there um, but I'm going to go with it anyway and I hope for the best um, and the areas where I fold up are just not going to be in the middle section so I'm just folding those up with uh, I've already distressed the edges and I'm just folding those up with uh, my thumb um, and uh, pushing it up and, and uh, to reveal some of the pretty paper below. It's very subtle, it's very small and narrow, but it works. 
Um, okay, so here I am with a few sequin mixes by Spiegel Mum Scraps. I have so many sequins I want to get used, so I am scattering those um, all over my um, two clusters either side of my photo. Um, I have a little tiny cluster at the top on the not again cut file, um, but I'm not going to put the sequins up there because it's not a proper cluster, it's just a small, small little one. Um, so uh, sequins are going either side of the photo in a kind of like diagonal version. Um, and I've used a few different sequin mixes to get the right colours um, to match my layout. Um, so I've got some purple ones and some yellow ones and some really teeny tiny light blue ones. Um, and uh, all together they look really, really pretty. So I've kind of created my own sequin mix. Um, but uh, yeah, it went really well. I had to um, pull them out and then um, mix them together and then scatter them because when I first started putting them on, they weren't scattered and they just didn't look natural. So um, I say I had to pull them all off, mix them all together and pick them up and scatter them. Some fall in the wrong place, so I manipulate those around a bit, but uh, mostly um, I try to aim for a natural scattering like I'm just doing there, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just sticking those down using glossy accents and a paper piercing tool. It's something I do all the time to stick my sequins down. I just put a small amount of glossy accents on the end of the paper piercing tool um, and that allows me to pick up a sequin um, on the end of it. Um, so I'll pick it up, take it out of the way, put a bit of glossy accents down and then put the sequin back in place with the paper piercing tool. And it really is quite a quick process. Um, initially when there's like 500 sequins you think, oh no, I'm going to be here ages. But uh, actually it doesn't, it never ever takes that long. Um, so I'm going to add some um, gold paint splatters to my layout, shimmers, paints, and uh, minor minor 49 inklings, but I just needed to put some water in it to activate it for a bit, so I'm just leaving it there, uh, put some spritzes in, I'm leaving it there while I hand write my journaling, so I'm just writing that in with a, um, a grey pen, um, and actually I didn't have enough room, so I should have um, kept my journaling card a bit longer, but uh, I just carried on on the white, and that was fine. Um, right, so that is that layout pretty much done. Um, I'm just going to come in now with those final splatters of gold paint um, and then that will be uh, all finished. So yeah, just putting the splatters around the two big clusters and I put a few around the tiny cluster at the top. And that's this layout complete. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this layout. Make sure you check out the March for Fox box. There's lots of excellent things in there really relevant to the current day. Um, okay, thank you very much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox. <laughs>